Well, here you go, and everyone, Josh the Collector Guy. Hope you all had an awesome week yet again this week, ladies and gentlemen, as always say. Hope you're able to have a little bit of a hunt here and there, everyone, this week, whether it's at a flea market swap meet, or even if you found some pretty awesome stuff on eBay, or even if you went to the shops as well. Hope you found some awesome cars, everyone. Hope you had an awesome week as well. Well, had my bi-monthly diecast meet this week, everyone. Just yesterday, it was awesome to see everyone again, all, all of my mates and also some other guys as well I've gotten to know and also talk Hot Wheels with and that. So it was pretty, well, lots of fun. Went with Dad, sold a few things, but mostly bought a couple of awesome things for the collection as well. I shall get to that just in a second and jabber on about that, but first up, We'll start off with my flea market finds for this week. Went to just one of my flea markets today. This flea, this flea market I know definitely has coin dealers at it. I remember I went last week and none of them were there. But this week I went there and two of them were there and bought a couple of awesome coins off them. Starting to get into my coins. Good old US dime there. I think this one's from the 40s or something. 19, oh, sorry, 1917, I think that might be one of the next couple of coins, sorry. And no, that is not my oldest coin in the collection. I got one from 1911 and also got another one as well. That one's in a lot better shape, but considering it was a lot cheaper. I think that's 1920, that one's pretty old as well. Got two more American ha Kennedy half dollars. I'm getting into them collecting the years. Sorry, I don't want you to see the price, but anyway, I didn't really pay much anything like that for it. 1965, and this one I believe is the 1969 one I've been after, because I like the year 1969. And it's got the little D just there, the proof mark I believe it's called, means it was minted in Denver. Pretty sure it's Denver. So I was pretty happy with them, but I think the gem of the bunch, and probably one of the most beautiful coins in my collection, has to be, I think that one's from 1943, yep. Another half dollar. Love that eagle on the front. Such a beautiful coin. Got Liberty on the back there as well. The beautiful, beautiful coin. I've seen a couple of these ones. Always admired it as well. I think I got a good deal on my coins. They weren't too dear, they didn't break the budget, but uh, very happy to add those ones to the collection. I'm quite enjoying my coin collecting, I have to admit, it's just as fun as collecting my Hot Wheels and that. But anyway, off the coins now and into the die cars. Found four cars as well, found these old flippers from the 90s. Remember this series greatly from when I was a kid. Never seen these ones before, so thought I'd pick some of them up. Some pretty cool designs there as well, but this ain't a flipper, it's an old Camaro Z28, had to pick her up, couldn't leave her there. She was cheap enough. Love the old 80s design on her as well, the old orange, well the, the red, orange and yellow there, sort of reminds me of the old heavy Chevy from 74. With the paint scheme you could say, but anyway. The old blown Camaro, beautiful car, very happy with those, and now on to my stuff. From the diecast meet, as I said, had lots of fun yesterday with Dad. We had a good laugh and a joke, seeing some of my mates again as well, talking Hot Wheels. Yeah, just had lots of fun, and I saw my mad mate again, got some pretty good deals off him as well. So, let's get stuck into it. I think we'll start off with old num old Thunderbird 2 just here. This one, I think's an old dinky. Yes, it certainly is. She's a little bit rough shape, but Dad picked her up for pretty cheap because he knows, well, we both like the Thunderbirds anyway. That's the reason why I do love the Thunderbirds was because Dad introduced it to me when I was a kid. Very, very early one. Probably back when TVs were black and white when this one was released because, as you, some of you might know, Thunderbird 2 is green. I'm not sure why she came out in blue. Maybe it was because back then, black and white TV, no one knows what the colour is. We'll just do it as this colour. But that's my opinion and my theory. There's probably different reasons for that. And Thunderbird 2 is my favourite, so I guess that's why Dad bought her for me as well. 
Very cool. Love the old Thunderbirds. Always enjoy watching it whenever I can. And same with Captain Scarlet as well. Quite enjoy that a heck of a lot. Now we'll get to the... Now we'll get to definitely the Hot Wheels now. Got some of the... Um, Speed Demons, I think these were called. I could be wrong. Got some of the Evil Weevils. Not the Volkswagen Evil Weevil, but the Evil Weevil, what looks like a Weevil. That one's pretty cool. And the Black Walls, got the old Ultra Hot one there as well. Love those wheels, adore them. Um, I forgot what this one... Oh, Cargoyle, excuse me, I should have known that. That one's pretty cool as well. And I think that one's Van Pyra or something like that. That one's really cool too. Now, a lot of new collectors probably don't like the... Um, these type of fantasy cars, but back in this era, I really do like these particular ones. These days, I'm not a big fan of some of the ones they bring out. They look kind of silly in my opinion, but I do like this era's fantasy cars. It's really cool in my opinion. It's so 80s and early 90s in my opinion, but anyway, that's just the way I think, but I think they're pretty cool. I like the bright colours in them. Very nice indeed. You got a 20th anniversary old Ferrari. That one's pretty cool. I think that might be a Testarossa, or I could be wrong. Beautiful Ferrari. And got the old Mighty Corvette Stingray here. It's a color racer. That one's pretty much mint out of the package. That one's really, really awesome. Probably my, one of my most favorite Corvettes of all time, I have to admit. And um, one of the guys at the diecast meet knows I love my NASCAR and he came up to me and he goes, oh, i got something for you and gave this to me, the old Michael Waltrip Penzoil van. I think would have came with um, Waltrip's car with the flatbed truck and the van and them three car sets what Matchbox did back in the day, and which was really nice of him. He's a really nice bloke as well, so thank you very much for that. I really do appreciate it. Oh, Michael Wildtrip. NASCAR's on today as well. Been checking on that. I think they were just getting back on the green with the 10 laps to go as well. I'll have to check after the video to see how it went. And we'll get to some oddball stuff now as well. Something you really don't see, but I do enjoy looking for it now and again when I can. The old sort of different stuff Hot Wheels bring out, like uh, wallets, watches, and all that kind of stuff. You don't really see... My, I think my mate gave me this one, which was nice of him. Still in its package from the 90s, which is pretty pretty much... That was the year I almost started collecting in or in 94, because I think I would have been two years old then. That one's really cool. I love the old 90s stuff, and something I have never seen before, a Hot Wheels wallet. I'll be the coolest kid on the block now with my Hot Wheels wallet. Really cool. Got the old drag racing there too. The old top fueler. Made in Hong Kong as well. And from the 80s it's got the old blue from the Real Riders packaging and nothing on the back. That's really cool card art on the back. Just the thing. $1.47 at, at one stage. Amazing. Something different for the collection. Never seen it before but always like buying the oddball stuff. and. Something I've wanted off my man, mate, for a very, very long time now. The old Hot Wheels, the Hot Wheels game by, the Golden Game by, I think the people who do the Golden Books. I don't know if anyone's familiar with them, but I know I was when I was a kid. Very cool game. Everything's in there. As you can see, that's pretty much what it comes with and everything. Not the old 442, though. It came with a Dixie Challenger, it looks like. The Dukes of Hazard car and heard some sad news this week that um, Roscoe from Dukes of Hazard passed away. So all his, all our thoughts go out to him and his, well, to his family and that, which is really sad. I do like the Dukes of Hazard, probably one of my favourite TV shows. But anyway, we'll have a little quick look in this. As you can see, the instructions are in there to get everything rolling, but I don't think it's very hard to put together but it's certainly hard to take out of the box I tell you that just talk amongst yourselves for a minute as you can see the beautiful artwork on the board game there all the NASCAR pit crews there by the looks of it old Smokey and the bandits joined the crew as you can see I don't know where Buford T Justice is obviously he crashed the old 442 there and the old 
martini style Porsche you could say upside down as well so that was really cool and it does have the game piece pieces still there as well pretty cool cars they've chosen as well might I say so it's all there pretty awesome find off my man mate and it's got a pretty cool sort of dice roll as well I think yeah shoot the car back and whatever it lands on that's what you roll I could be wrong but pretty cool game really happy to have something like this in the collection because I've never seen anything like this before by Hot Wheels so very very awesome well awesome addition to the collection and last but not least these four guys here as well dad funnily enough spotted this one the old rumbler the old Roman candle with the old purple rider very cool bike as well unfortunately the two fins at the front were snapped off but I'm still pretty happy with it. it the chrome's really nice really good shape and the tracks missing as well but I'm very happy with it and dad's got good eyes when it comes to finding hidden stuff I reckon so really happy with that another rumbler to the ever-growing rumbler collection my first ever carded you could say French Hot Wheel the old Mercedes as you can see it's all in French there pretty cool sets that might I say that was off my man mate really really awesome indeed so really nice example as well really great shape don't mind the old Mercedes as well beautiful car as well and last two cars are two red lines I've been after for quite a while now well been after for a while now as well off my man mate got the old Lola GT70 and I believe what is rose red and it's a US base as well beautiful beautiful paint scheme and really nice car as well the old Lola GT70 I believe she was Ford powered back in the day in the Can-Am really really nice car love that color I adore that color really stands out and just like the beautiful pink rocket by baby as well such an awesome vehicle probably one of my favorite cars to collect not that I have many in the collection but I always look now and again but never am lucky enough to find them but nevertheless what a beauty to add to the collection another pink car to put up where up there with all my pink ones so that one's really awesome indeed love the old pink cars for my one of my favorite colors really really awesome indeed well that is pretty much it for this week ladies and gentlemen really hope you did enjoy me jabbering on this week about my die cast meat finds thank you to you all for tuning in each and every week leaving kind comments liking my videos subscribing to my channel or even just tuning in and listening to me jabber on i really do appreciate it everyone thank you very much indeed well that is pretty much it for this week ladies and gentlemen really hope you did enjoy and remember, as always, everyone, happy hunting. Keep the hobby strong. See you later, everyone. Have an awesome week.